Hey guys, it's Chad in California. There's been quite a few questions floating around on the YouTube channel. People are really concerned with where I go to the bathroom and where I shower and do all that type of stuff. So um, I guess what I always thought was more common sense type stuff maybe needs to be addressed. So um, here's my attempt in doing so. I've made videos like this before. I've answered questions in the comments, but uh, they still keep coming because people don't watch all the way through the videos or... Um, whichever so maybe I need to post uh, one of these videos once a week or, or something but uh, anyways as far as showering um, I've got lots of friends and family around that I visit um, when I'm at friends' houses uh, I catch a shower um, I'm staying at uh, hotels when friends come down um, at campgrounds uh, various campgrounds and stuff um, so I catch a shower there um, while it might not be every single day, this is why I've got these available. Um, I found these last night. This is made by the same company that does Burt's Bees um, Chapstick, which is real popular. Um, basically, they're just basically uh, baby wipes. So, um, you know, the days in between uh, grabbing a shower and stuff like that, you can uh, keep tidy and, and uh, stay clean with uh, some baby wipes. Uh, those are extremely convenient. Um, so there's that. Um, a lot of people always suggest the uh, the shower bags. Well, you got to remember, I'm here in the big city, and I am mostly doing urban stealth camping. Uh, so to be out showering on the main street of Huntington Beach or Newport uh, just isn't going to work. So appreciate those ideas. Um, there's just no way I could do it. If I was out in the woods, uh, out in the backcountry somewhere, then uh, I could do that, and then I could just go to the bathroom in the woods. So, um, not really any way of being able to do that. Um, as far as going to the bathroom, porta potties, five gallon buckets in my van. Sorry, not going to happen. Let me show you my living room real quick. Here's my living room. It's uh, basically four foot by four foot, and. Um, the last thing I'm going to do is put a five gallon bucket with some cat litter in here so I can go to the bathroom. There again, like I said, I am urban camping. So that means like right across the street over there is a gas station. Actually, being that I'm at a uh, camp spot right there, there is the bathroom. Um, so whether um, I'm urban camping I've got grocery stores I've got Walmarts I've got McDonald's I've got all these places to go to the bathroom I don't need to carry a five gallon bucket in my four by four living room um, I always find it curious when people suggest that where they suggest that I carry this thing because um, I'm definitely not going to have it sitting in my living room um, I'm doing all this out of a Volkswagen van again so um, hopefully that addresses that issue what I always propose to people is like Okay, well, the next time you're in town running some errands, maybe you're going grocery shopping for the day, um, doing whatever you do in town for the day, and you got to go to the bathroom, where do you go? That's basically the way I attack the issue, and, uh, you know, I, I find the nearest convenient bathroom that, that has public access, and I just go use it. So, no need for uh, having to, you know, set up the five-gallon porta potty right here in the living room, so... Um, I like to keep my, my living space comfortable and clean and tidy in a five-gallon bucket. just isn't going to do it. So um, I hope that addresses the where do I go to the bathroom issue. Um, for the midnight emergencies, in the two years that I've been doing this, I haven't woken up in the middle of the night and had to go number two, as people say. Um, so I guess when I get to that issue, I'll cross that bridge. But uh, in the two years I've been doing this, I haven't had the issue. So hopefully that answers that question. Of course, uh, going number one, taking a piss, um, that does arise uh, every once in a while in the night. Um, so that's why I have this uh, situation employed here. The Gatorade bottle works good for a guy. I know it doesn't work great for a girl, but I am a male in this situation, so um, I make do with what I've got. Um, for girls, there are actually devices um, that you can look up online that basically act as a funnel. Uh, that are contoured specifically for that gender that may work for that situation. So something to look into and whatnot. So um, 
yeah, most of the questions that uh, people ask me about showers and bathrooms go unanswered in the comments because I've answered these questions so many times that um, I hope they just find the, the other answers that I've given and perhaps the videos that I've posted specifically about this stuff. So anyways, hopefully that gives some insight. Um, I really have a feeling I'm probably going to have to post this once a week uh, just to keep the questions at bay because I get a lot of questions about it. So figured I'd throw this up. Hopefully that gives some insight as to how to deal with going to the bathroom and how to shower. I will say something about showering, which I've really considered, especially since I've been down here in the big city. Um, one idea is to do a 24-hour fitness. Um, it's a gym that you can get a membership at. They're open 24 hours. And one membership will get you in all of the branches, and there's tons of branches around. So um, any sort of gym or 24-hour fitness uh, setup is a, is a good idea if you're really concerned about having a shower every single day, morning and night. So um, it is doable, so you can camp around a 24-hour fitness if that's uh, what you so desire. Uh, if you're one of those people that have to have a shower first thing in the morning and before you go to bed, then maybe living in a van is not necessarily, uh, you know, down your alley. So, you know, some things you got to sacrifice and some things you got to uh, learn how to make work. So, um, hopefully this gives some insight and answers some questions. So, um, you guys keep on trucking, keep on posting those questions in the comments. I really enjoyed reading your comments and your questions and, uh, all that good stuff. So hope everybody's well out there and peace out.